What? You're an only child? Yeah, my parents must be crying right now. Or just pissed off. Oh, because you're supposed to take over your family's big hotel, right? So just how big is it? Hmm? Oh, I get it. You only remember the important stuff. <laughs> What's going on in this pretty head? <laughs> but when Blast debuts, I bet they'll be so thrilled they'll forgive you right away. Parents are like that. So just make sure that happens. I'll do my best for my Hachi. I told you, don't call me Hachi. But when I hear the name Nana, all I can think of is that cat-eyed queen. <laughs> cat-eyed? Yeah, that's what I've been calling her since the 10th grade. Now it's like total reflex. Wow, you guys have been playing in Blast since the 10th grade? No, we actually formed the band the summer of my junior year. But me and Nana knew each other the year before that. Really? Hey, what was Nana like in high school? Well, she didn't talk much, she never laughed, and she'd give people all kinds of evil looks. What? She wasn't the most popular girl in high school? No way! Uh, she was a total goth chick. But even so, she was really pretty, so she stood out. But you could never tell what she was thinking, so everyone was too scared to get close to her. But when I look back on it, it must have been kind of lonely for her. Having no friends to talk to? Huh. So I tried to impress her with my big mouth and stunning good looks, but she just ignored me. I felt so rejected. <laughs> But, you know me, I'm a total music freak, and I thought, if she won't talk to me, I'll get her with music. So I let her borrow some of my CDs. Well, I forced them on her. Like ten or so of my favorites. I figured there's bound to be one she'd like. Then one day, she finally talked to me. Karashima. Huh? Thanks for letting me listen to your CDs. If you get any new ones, let me know. She smiled! Oh, um, something? Sure! Hey, she Nana, wait a minute! After all. So, what kind of music are you into? I mean, which CDs did you like? Uh, what's it called? The crazy one, the band with the porn name? The Sex Pistols? Yeah, that one. You like punk rock too? So do I! What a dork. I was so happy. She was falling in love with me. It sounds more like you were totally in love with her. Well, maybe a little bit. What the hell? I hate you! <laughs> but that was all a long time ago. And besides, once we became such close friends, it was impossible for me to even think of her like that anymore. I mean, I'm the one who introduced her to Ren in the first place. You're the one who introduced Ren to Nana? Mm-hmm. Nana was so warped back then that she scared all the guys off. I thought Ren might be the only person she could relate to. In those days, I used to look up to Ren as some sort of invincible hero. And your plan worked! Yeah, but not the way I expected. What do you mean? Little by little, I began to realize that Ren wasn't as invincible as I first thought he was. I think Nana ended up saving him just as much as he saved her. <laughs> You know, when I was younger, I used to think that guys had to be all strong and stuff for their girlfriends. So I tried to act real tough in front of the girls. Now I see just how stupid that was. Why do you think that was stupid? <laughs> so what do you think of these wimpy guns? Are they strong enough for you? Well, yeah, of course they are. <sighs> oh, ever since I fell in love with you, Hachiko, I've realized what a totally unmacho girly guy I am. What do you mean? You're the guy who promised he'd do anything to make me happy. And I will. As long as you're always by my side to support me. I feel like I can do anything with you by my side. Deal. I get it. Nobu's like a clinging child. This is new for me. I'm usually the one who's like that. What's going on? My heart bleeds for him. I want to be with him. I want to spoil him. I want to be there for him. I want to hold him. I want to do everything he wants. In the past, I only thought about having men do those things for me. Maybe that was my big mistake. <laughs> 